All right, here's my CR450 frame. We're going to be putting that CR500 motor into it. I got a problem with the motor being too high, which is causing the exhaust to hit the radiator over on this side. So what I need to do is I need to lower the motor down. Now what's happening is there's a bolt on the bottom of the motor that's hitting the frame right here. This is significantly higher than the rest of the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind that little spot down where it's hitting and try to cut it down. Oh, it's probably going to be a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Maybe three-eighths of an inch I can cut into this and get some more clearancing in here. And that little three-eighths of an inch that's going to drop the motor down over here. It's going to drop it down even more over here. You figure we're about a foot and a half forward or so. I'd have to do the math. But it may drop the motor, you know, an inch or more up front. And that's going to be all the space that I need to uh, clear the exhaust from the radiator. All right, we got that ground on down there. As you see, there's a significant amount of meat that we took off of that. If, for some reason, we think it's a little bit weak, we'll build up a little bit of weld around it, and I think it'll be good. But I didn't take anything off the back side of it. The back side is just like you see on this side, but over here. So it should be every bit as strong as it was over there, as it had been before. And underneath, of course, nothing has been ground off. So I think if we did weaken it at all, we probably didn't weaken it by too much and I think it'll be survivable. All right, dropping the motor down made a, a big difference here. We got almost half an inch of clearance there between the, uh, the pipe and the radiator. So there's plenty of room. So now this thing's ready to go to the welders to have the Y put in, which currently is not installed in here. But uh, I'll get that put back on. We'll get that taken over there, and um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll have a uh, running CR500 AF conversion. Woohoo!